I'm a hairdresser and have inconsistent income. I know about how income much how much income I will make, so I've broken it down weekly. What advice do you have for working with inconsistent income? So maybe Melinda, I already answered that a little earlier, but I'm now gonna put it on, on the whiteboard, right? So we want to underestimate your income, overestimate the expense, and we wanna look back, look back a year, how much did you make last year in total net revenue? Take that number, divide by 12. So look back a year, total net rev and divide by 12. What's that number? Then we look at expenses, right? So look back a year on expenses, total divide by 12. That's going to give us a total cash flow number. Take that cash flow and divide by 12. Once we have your cash flow divided by 12 in a month, and once we have your line of credit, Melinda, that we're going to use and the interest rate. We're going to look at the rules of leveraging and I'll just throw it in here real quickly. We do, we do cash flow times 12 and we do two thirds of debt tool. Example, say you got a hundred thousand dollar line of credit. We really shouldn't borrow more than 66,000. Let's say your cash flow um, in a month is 3000 bucks. Three times 12 is 36,000. So now we have what's called our chunk range, Melinda, chunk range. So you would chunk anywhere between 36 and 66,000, right? But that's not the final piece to the puzzle, is it? No, we're gonna look at your debts, right? Let's say you only have $25,000 of debt outside your primary mortgage, right? So maybe our chunk is just the 25 to get the cash flow of 500 bucks. So meaning we didn't have to chunk that high to get our particular result. Right? So you see what I just went through there? Very clean. We underestimate your income, overestimate your expenses. Look at cash flow times 12 in a year net from last year's revenue. That gives us an idea of what you'll likely produce this year. And in fact, you should make more, right? Every year we should be making more money because inflation goes up and taxes go up. If our income stays stagnant, that would not be good, right, for anyone. So chances are you make more money or the same as last year, ideally. Now, if that's not the case, if you see yourself projecting less, right, well, we can account for that as well. And so basically, when you know the numbers that you produced last year, we compare it to how you're operating this year and we're getting all this data to help us come up with the most important number of the velocity banking strategy is our chunk amount what we chunk at determines how quickly we pay off what we just chunked to get cash flow and save money on interest that's all we're solving for melinda right which is why it's so important to know these numbers and do the pregame work. Because if we just blindly get a $100,000 line of credit and then you chunk 25K and you have no discipline with 100 and then you go take 25 and go invest in some deal and now you're like, oh, I'm doing velocity banking. And it's like, eh, are you? Are you really, right? So I'm not saying you, Melinda, I'm you know talking general, but hopefully that was valuable.